Hi, welcome to the video and welcome back if you're a return viewer. Today a quick look at a book I finished uh, last week, that is Damascus Station by David McCloskey. Now McCloskey is a former CIA uh, employee and he's written this book which uses a lot of details from the CIA uh, trade craft book basically and um, mixes in with the background of the Syrian civil war. Now the book is set in contemporary times but it's not quite clear exactly when as if it is in the future, the present or the past, there are events in Syria referenced which took place you know 10 years ago. Other things that take place in this book have not taken place in reality as yet. Anyway, story. Story follows Sam, uh, Samuel Joseph, or Sam as he likes to be called. Um, he is part of a, a mission in Syria which goes wrong and eventually leads to the death of one of his colleagues. Uh, after debriefing, he requests to be sent back to Syria for his next posting so he can get some sort of revenge, I assume, or, or make amends. Um, Sam is a, a kind of vanilla type of guy. He gives some type of backstory about being a, a professional card shark in Las Vegas, and that's where he is recruited for the CIA. Most of the, most of the book, he's kind of pretty bland and average. He's the, the, the quintessential all-American good guy... Uh, out for freedom, justice in the American way, basically. Now, the other main character is Miriam. Miriam Haddad, I think she is. That's her family, anyway, the Haddads. And she is a kind of a privileged member of the uh, inner sanctum of the Syrian regime. Her family is a, one of the minority Christian uh, sects in, in uh, Syria. And her uncle and her father uh, all have high, uh, higher positions in the regime. Now, Miriam has been tasked with uh, basically going around to other countries where there are Syrian exiles and uh, putting the hard word, the pressure or intimidation on the exiles to tell them to, to recant what they've said and return home. And in return, her fa their families won't be uh, captured and tortured or, or whatever. Um, now, the CIA has spotted Miriam might be a, a, a good target to time of try and flip as a, a double agent and Sam gets the job to attempt that. Now the, the pair first meet in a, a diplomatic function in Paris where Sam is pretending to be a diplomat. Um, they hit it off, um, then they meet again in, in various uh, other locations in France and of course because both of them are such young, gorgeous, fit, happy uh, loving people, they fall in love with each other, which is of course against all sorts of CIA regulations. Um, the action then moves to Syria, after a, a little a brief since elsewhere, and we see the situation in Syria is kind of uh, breaking down, there's all sorts of assassination attempts, bomb plots, uh, and there's kind of internecine factions within the Syrian uh, regime which are competing with each other for influence in the favour of the president and uh, Miriam's family gets caught up in this and Miriam herself is the subject of a, a, an attempted uh, uh, kidnapping or killing and um, her and uh, Sam thwart that um, and hide the, um, the dead bodies which they have to kill the attackers basically um, and basically a lot of the book takes place in, in Damascus where Sam has been uh, relocated for his mission. Um, there's a lot of uh, representation of the uh, CIA kind of trade car class craft, sorry, where they basically uh, avoid surveillance by basically wandering all over the city. There's a lot of that in the book. He spends like eight hours a day avoiding uh, regime uh, surveillance and uh, I'm not sure it makes for a thrilling book. But it was interesting and, and things like uh, dead letter drops and and the electronic equipment which they use to communicate. Um, it all seems like taking from the real world, so I assume it's pretty close to reality. Although the CIA had to uh, read this book and tell the author to get rid of certain things which they thought was too close to the truth. Now, Miriam and Sam's star-crossed uh, relationship uh, gets into trouble when Miriam is uh, forced to basically betray the CIA uh, in a certain way but not in others and uh, this strains their relationship and uh, there's all sorts of things going on like the use of chemical weapons by the regime, there's an American airstrike in response um, 
and people feed false information to certain people to get it passed on so they can identify who who uh, who is the, the leak within the regime and so on and on it goes um, it's okay um, it's not the best a lot of blurbs and pre-hype for this book saying it was the best spy book of the year or the decade um, if you read a lot of spy books you might be a little disappointed it's very straightforward there's, there's, with all the betrayals and what have you there really isn't any twisty turny stuff which you don't see coming it's uh, very simple and straightforward the good guys are really good the bad guys are, are really bad except for a few ex exceptions which people who suddenly discover that they're good in, the, in their heart and want to help the good guys that type of thing um, there are minor characters uh, Sam has works with a team that co codenamed the Banditos which is some Middle Eastern men who help him uh, surveil uh, and, and his operations they're, they're quite fun and uh, another standout character which probably should have had a, a, a bigger part of the story is uh, Sam's uh, station chief in Syria uh, Artemis Aphrodite Proctor now she's a hard as nails woman who's basically been everywhere and seen it all and she's got a very sarcastic attitude when talking to Sam and she kind of guesses that Sam's in a, in a relationship before he actually comes out and admits it um, and she really uh, she really gets a, a, a great little uh, action scene near the end and I was kind of wanting more of her rather than the dreary Sam and Miriam stuff now, you, needless to say, the good guys pretty much prevail in the end, and, and the forces of good and lightness uh, win uh, for now. So, um, like I said, it's an enjoyable read. Once it gets going, it will keep you gripped, but it's, it's just not too much depth to it, which, which you might more expect with genre fiction in the spy area. Um, it's a little too straightforward and flat for me. I enjoyed it, but... You know, it could have been so much more. And I know the author is now working on, has almost released a, a second book called, I think it's called Moscow X or Moscow 10. Um, I'm not sure if it contains the same characters or it's a whole new, new swath of characters. It may be interesting to see uh, how he improves on this book. So that is Damascus Station by David McCloskey. Uh, an entertaining read, but not all it could have been. Okay, we'll see you next time. Thank you.